With their Sports On Demand for Sunday, July 21st, I'm Alex Klein. If you thought you had a tough workout this weekend, I'd say think again, unless you completed the Crusher. About 160 bikers attempted the 225 mile race this weekend from Copper Harbor all the way to Marquette. Racers didn't have an exact route, but had to find their way via GPS. There were checkpoints along the way, including the Ray Kessner Waterfront Park in Houghton. Riders endured all sorts of terrain and had 36 hours to complete the challenge, beginning 6 in the morning on Saturday and ending at 6 o'clock this evening. Even with how grueling it was, finishers say it was a great experience. I feel great. Um, I visualized myself finishing, so I had already been in this place before, which is wonderful. Um, and I've trained enough, so my body, although it's sore, um, I don't feel awful. <laughs> it was an amazing experience. There were ups and downs, both literally and figuratively. <laughs> um, and I got to see it, the most beautiful parts of the UP. Mountain bikers are, are a pretty fun group. You know, they helping each other on the trail. Anytime you see somebody standing there, you ask, you know, is everything good? We were beside the trail, people asked everything good. People stopped when, when our friend hit the ground. So yeah, it's just mountain biking is a pretty fun community. And, and, and Todd sets up some, some awesome races. In addition to the 225 miler, there was also a 100 mile option, a 55 mile run, a 50 plus mile team option, and a 30 miler with about 400 total participants. And Norway Speedway is home to a lot of racers, and one girl in particular is making her mark on the track. Michelle Janczewski is in the running for a championship this season. She's in the stock car division and currently sits tied for first place with 311 points. Janczewski started racing six years ago and hasn't looked back. Friday night, she took second behind another girl, Caitlin Shetler. While racing may have pr primarily been a boys sport in the past, these girls are proving they belong. There's four or five in my division now, and you can't tell the difference. We're all competitive. We all love the sport. There's handshakes after and smiles and laughing, and it's just a good time. Obviously, it's rewarding that we have all the great female drivers that we have, but they're doing it with talent, uh, and that's what we want. And they don't get any special privileges. Uh, it is a male-dominated sport, but they're not afraid to stick their nose in there and and trade paint with the best of them. Races are every Friday night with time trials at 5.30 p.m. and racing starting at 7. This coming Friday is Norway Speedway Hall of Fame night. Legion Baseball now, the UP Championship between Marquette and Gladstone start in the third, already 4-0 Gladstone, and they are adding more. That is Caden Alwarden ripping one to left field to bring home Cody Frappier, and it is 5-zip. Marquette up now with the bases loaded, Blake Henriksen. He pops up. The outfielders, they're running towards it and running to each other, but Carson Shea does make the grab. They're taking their time, and Brendan Kasky is coming home. Blues down 5-1. Skip to the seventh. Indians Dan Martin up, and he cracks that one to right field. Blake Krauth will touch home, and it is 9-2. Now last chance for the Blues with Kasky at the plate. That grounder. It goes to Al Warden. He flips it over to Shea and then over to Jared Crow for the double play. Gladstone wins 9-3 and are UP champions. In Little League Baseball Majors State Tournament in Mount Pleasant, Kingsford defeats Rockford 14-10 and Ishpeming falls to Jackson Southwest 5-4. Despite those results, neither UP team will advance out of pool play.